Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be discussing the subtlety of mediumship. I've been teaching mediumship for quite some time now, and as I learn the mechanics and the, uh, the processes, I'm, I'm, I'm under constant scrutiny of myself. I'm looking for, for new ways and new ideas and uh, new understanding so I can use my mediumship more efficiently. Over the years, I, I've realized that sometimes the sensory process can become uh, uh, really subtle. Uh, and it's something that I've been teaching for a, a couple of years, maybe. Um, so I'll try and give you some examples uh, as we go along in the video. Uh, and one would be where, um, like, the feeling of um, a mum comes in. So you'll hear a statement like, uh, I have a lady with me and she's motherly. I don't really like the statement, but I understand why mediums do it. And if we look at uh, certain uh, processes within mediumship, it seems to be like we can be just a, a, a tiny bit out. So that may be, it may be mum, it may be mother-in-law, it may be step-mum, it may be a foster mum or an adopted mum or you know, whatever variations there are there. Uh, uh, but I'm sure that there, there's a few more that you can add to that. And what happens is that comes in on that motherly feel. So it's kind of like a like a barcode uh, on a product and, and we're just like one line out. It comes in and they're very close, but we're just one line out. And so um, it feels incredibly subtle. Um, and the development of that is to make that barcode sort of open up so we can see exactly which mark it's on. And this is where the development comes in, you know, years of uh, experience or, yeah, years of experience and, uh, and getting it wrong and then we learn to get it right. This is, this is a, a theme for this channel. It definitely comes up time and time again. But mediumship is, a, is an energy process. And what a lot of us forget is that we we are physical we are limited um, and so the the, the energy uh, will eventually run out so what i try to do is i try to always uh, give the student the idea that we need to be using this more efficiently so you can last longer uh, or, or, or get more evidence you know whatever process we're going to use that energy in so something like uh, uh, this bottle of water uh, will represent our energy as a medium during the process of uh, mediumship. So it was a, a, a few weeks ago. Now I, I imagine I can't I can't really remember. Um, but uh, I had one of the, the the students. I think I think it was Donna. I can't remember. And I know she won't mind. She she, she enjoys. Uh, um, me picking at her sometimes so um and uh Don donna was like uh, uh lagging in one of the zoom classes she couldn't quite hit the mark she, it wasn't quite uh, uh hitting the spot uh, and she asked me what would that be why am i not why am i not getting it why why is this why is that uh, and it looked unfamiliar you know I, I i knew her mediumship enough to say um this ain't usually what you're what you're doing what have you been doing all day uh, and she said, uh, oh, I've done two other classes today. <laughs> and I was like, what? What <laughs> What do you mean you've done two other classes today? Um, and, and so then immediately I knew why the problem was there. She had used her, her uh, spiritual reservoir up. Um, and some, some, the argument will be, yeah, but the spirit world is unlimited, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, it is unlimited, but we are limited. It's us that's the, the issue here, not the spirit world. Um, and so to make that relatable for everyone watching the channel, um, it's like I can run. You know, I'm, I'm quite fast when I when I when I need to be. Um, I, I've, I'm athletic enough to be able to do sprints, and I used to do like a, a little bit of long distance running. You know, that's it's not a problem. Running is not an issue. However, if I try to run two marathons in a day. You know, my body's going to fail me. The energy uh, is not going to be present in my legs. Or um, I, I've used up a lot of my uh, energy to, to, to try and do these runs. It's just not going to go smoothly. I'm really going to struggle. I'm really going to feel it. it. It doesn't take away the fact that I can run. It's just it takes away um, with how long I can run for. 
uh, or, or the distance that I can run because I've used up said energy. Spirit communication is exactly the same with spiritual reservoir. It's for every statement that you are using, it's like you're pouring a little bit out. Uh, and the, the time and time again, when you stick in an area and you, you, you keep throwing energy at it, but you're not getting anywhere, uh, and then you'll find the readings failing uh, at, at some point because you're just throwing all your energy at it. All of your reservoir is being used up, and usually for a nothing statement, usually for something that you're trying to understand or, uh, or, or trying to save face on. It's just, and you're just blowing your energy. So through development, what happens is that I don't require things like uh, the guide making themselves aware now, you know, like a cobwebbing on the face or, or, or the chills down the back or, or anything like that. This requires this energy. This requires me to have the visual or the feeling that they are present. I'm using the energy to check the markers. Oh, are you there? Are you going to be there today? Uh, I, oh, I hope this works. And I'm throwing energy at it. I've already started the process of emptying my bottle. Um, and so what will happen is that uh, in time, when you actually start believing in yourself and you actually know the spirit world's there, it doesn't become a belief, it becomes a knowledge, then you stop throwing needless energy at certain things uh, and therefore you are, you are able to uh, use the, the limited amount in a more efficient way. As most of you know, I've just got back from Geneva. You know, and uh, on, on Saturday, Saturday just gone, uh, it was a long day. It was a really long day. And I knew that I had to sort of uh, adjust my energy accordingly. Um, not that the quality would be down, but I knew that when I, when I needed to have a break or I needed to take on fluids or I needed to take on uh, energy in the form of food uh, because of the day was going to be a long day. Uh, and at nine o'clock, uh, I had a one-to-one -one sitting. At 9.30, I started a, a, a class, uh, which went to um, uh, 1 o'clock, I think, 1.15, something like that, uh, to which I stopped and had lunch. That, that stopped for 30 minutes. Then I had another sitting, uh, done the sitting, went back to class for 2 o'clock, worked till 5 o'clock, stopped for an hour and a half took on more uh, fluids, took on more fuel in, in food-wise, try and recap or refill my energy uh, source, getting ready for a two-hour dem. Um, and, and, and then I finally got home a, around uh, midnight. So that was a long day. Um, but I've built myself up to this because I know that I don't need to be throwing energy at needless things or working too hard or, or trying, to, trying to make sense of it. I, I'm saving my fuel, I'm using it for the stuff that I have learned and that I recognise very, very freely within my mediumship and adjust my mediumship accordingly. The value wasn't gone and, and the quality was still very much there. It was a very good dem and it was a good classroom that we, uh, that we worked that day. Uh, but I was using my energy more efficiently. This is where your faith and trust come into the spirit world. Uh, the, need, the need for me to understand was letting it go or don't throw too much fuel at that. You know, take the hit. If, if you've made a mistake, then just own it. And, and so what I realized over development, Saturday, or uh, all my readings, all my development, is I realized that the more and more I do mediumship, you know, it seems to be a little bit more subtle. You know, do I need to feel absolutely every detail of a car accident within a within a sitting if i'm just going to say car accident then i don't need to be throwing three times the fuel at it i know what the car accident is now uh, I, I know that feeling i know that sensory experience that i go through my team know that i know that so they so they they drip feed it in there have you got it no we need more we need more, we need more, got it, there we go, now we can move on. And I just, and, and we're making that more and more subtle through the development. Therefore, I have more fuel to carry on for longer, so people like Donna will eventually be able to do three classes in a day. Um, but right now, it's just that she 
probably blew all her energy in the in the first class then had a bit of a ropey second class then had a bit of a ropey third class um, whereas we want to get to the point where we understand our mediumship so we have a good first second and third class them reading whatever it is so mediumship will get subtle the more and more you do it the more and more you hold faith, the more and more you put your knowledge into mediumship, your team, your guides, your whatever, fill in the blank, uh, the more and more subtle it's going to be because you don't need the, um, the, the confirmation of it. You, you recognise that. You recognise that's a mum, that's a dad, that's a cancer, that's a, a car accident. You don't need like double hits on the fuel that the spirit world are using. So maybe uh, um, believe in yourselves a little bit more. Stop throwing all your fuel at it and you'll be able to last longer. Using your energy more efficiently, you'll become a better medium. So if there's uh, any value in this for you whatsoever, hit that thumbs up because that helps the channel. Get in the comments, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you want already. And I'll catch you lot in the next video.